Students, this is the third class of QSAR. Already we have seen hydrophobicity and the physicochemical properties. So, in this class, we are going to see the electronic parameters and how they are related to biological activity. Okay. Uh, so, here this electronic parameters know they are having effect on drugs ionization or polarity and they are having effect on how easily a drug can pass through the cell membrane or how strongly it can interact with the binding site. That is why it is useful to measure the electronic effect of a substituent. Regarding the substituents and the aromatic ring, this measure now that can be called as Hammett substituent constant. This Hammett substituent constant now it is a measure of electron withdrawing or electron donating ability of the substituent and that can be determined by measuring the dissociation of a series of substituted benzoic acids compared with the dissociation of benzoic acid itself. So, here we have taken benzoic acid and substituted benzoic acids that is series of substituted benzoic acids and we are measuring the dissociation and from that we are comparing these two and finally we are determining the electron withdrawing ability or electron donating ability of the substituent. This benzoic acid no, that is a weak acid and only partially ionized in water. So, this is the ionization of benzoic acid in water. Here an equilibrium is set up between the ionized and unionized forms where the relative proportion of these species is known as equilibrium constant or dissociation constant and that can be represented as KH. Here the subscript H no that indicates that there are no substituents on the aromat aromatic ring that is why the formula would be KH equal to concentration of ionized form divided by concentration of unionized form. If a substituent is present on the aromatic ring, this equilibrium is affected. For example, if the substituent would be an electron withdrawing group, for example, that is a nitro group, we are getting the aromatic ring that should have a stronger electron withdrawing ability and a stronger stabilizing effect on the carboxylate ion. That is why the equilibrium will shift more to the ionized form. If the electron withdrawing group is present, the equilibrium will shift more to the ionized form. So, equilibrium will shift more to the ionized form. If the electron donating group is present, the equilibrium now that will shift more to the unionized form. This is very, very important. So, what is that? Electron withdrawing group is present, this equilibrium will shift more to the ionized form. If electron donating group is present, this equilibrium will shift more to the unionized form. Therefore, the substituted benzoic acid no that is a stronger acid and having larger Kx value. So, what is X? X is the substituent on the aromatic ring. So, now we have seen for electron withdrawing group. If the substituent is an electron donating group, for example, that would be an alkyl means the aromatic ring is less able to stabilize the carboxylate ion. For electron withdrawing substituents, the equilibrium will shift more to the ionized form. For electron donating substituents, the equilibrium will shift more to the unionized form. So, here that would be electron donating group that is uh, alkyl group. So, here the equilibrium will shift more to the unionized form that is the equilibrium will shift to the left and indicating a weak acid with a smaller Kx value. The Hammer substituent constant sigma x for a particular substituent x is sigma x equal to log kx divided by kh that is equal to log kx minus log kh. If benzoic acid is having electron withdrawing substituents and that is having larger kx values than benzoic acid itself therefore, the value of sigma x for electron withdrawing substituents would be positive. That is why substituents uh, such as uh, Cl, Cn or Cf3, they are having positive sigma values. If benzoic acid is having electron donating substituent, they are having smaller Kx value than benzoic acid and hence the value sigma x for uh, the electron donating substituent would be negative. For example, methyl, ethyl, tertiary butyl, they are having negative values of sigma. For hydrogen, the sigma value would be 0. This Hammer substituent constant note that takes into account both resonance and inductive effects. That is why the value of sigma for a particular substituent will depend on whether the substituent is meta or para. So, that is indicated by the subscript 
mem or p after the sigma symbol if it is substituted in meta position that can be s m or in para position means that can be p so sigma p or sigma m for example if you are taking nitro group so for that the sigma p equal to 0.78 and for uh, that would be in meta means that would be sigma m that is equal to 0.71 by comparing these two sigma p would be larger that is point, uh, point 0.78 why it is uh, larger here in the case of meta position the electron withdrawing power is mainly due to inductive effect whereas in the para position that is mainly due to inductive and resonance effect so here these two play a role that is uh, in the case of para position the inductive and resonance effect play a role whereas in the case of meta position only inductive effect okay that's why the uh, sigma p no that would be larger than sigma m so here for meta nitro group the electron withdrawing ability no that is mainly due to inductive effect and in the case of para nitro group the electron withdrawing ability is mainly due to inductive effect and also resonance effect now come to the another substituent that is called as hydroxyl group for that the sigma m equal to 0.12 and sigma p equal to minus 0.37 okay so in the case of meta position the influence is inductive and electron withdrawing so electron withdrawing no, that's why it is getting positive charge so this is based mainly on inductive effect okay in the case of para position already we have known for para two effects are there one is a resonance effect another one is an inductive effect so here the electron donating influence due to resonance node that is more than the electron withdrawing influence due to induction so which should be dominating here the electron donating influence that's why it is getting minus charge that's why the sigma p value no that would be minus 0.37 So for meta hydroxy group the electronic influence is inductive and in the case of para hydroxy group the electronic influence is dominated by resonance effect that's why sigma is a measure of uh, substituents inductive and resonance electronic effects you will see the main limitation okay so the hammer substituent constants no they cannot be measured for ortho substituents because such substituents have important steric and also electronic effects this constant no can be used only for aromatic substituents and therefore they are only suitable for drugs containing aromatic rings however a series of aliphatic electronic substituent constants are available so they are obtained by measuring the rate of hydrolysis for a series of aliphatic esters here the methyl ethanoate no that is the parent ester and is found that the rate of hydrolysis is affected by the substituent the rate of hydrolysis is also a measure of substituents electronic effect at the site of the reaction so that's why the electronic effect is purely inductive and is given the symbol sigma 1 for electron donating groups they reduce the rate of hydrolysis and therefore they are having negative values for example for methyl ethyl and propyl groups the sigma 1 values should be minus 0.04 minus 0.07 and minus 0.36 respectively the electron withdrawing groups increase the rate of hydrolysis and have positive values that's why the sigma values for n me3 plus and cn are 0.93 and 0.53 respectively that's all about the electronic parameters next class we are going to see steric factors and how they are related to biological activity